It's moved to shore right near Belize City, Hopkins. You saw the picture there. It's actually pretty nice in Hopkins. That's well to the south. So they're on the weak side of the hurricane and uh, not directly affected down there. But north of Belize City, that's where there are going to be problems. And uh, we'll just have to see because we don't have any reports in yet. Let's look across the tropics. There's Lisa, as you just heard, has made landfall right near Belize City. The other hurricane, that's very unusual to have uh, two hurricanes in November at the same time, let alone two that are both 85 miles per hour at the current time. That's Martin kind of up there in the North Atlantic. And then there's this potential disturbance. There is nothing there yet, but the computer forecast models indicate something might develop a low pressure system. Exactly what well, is it open to question? We'll talk about that in just a moment. All right, so here's the system coming ashore just to the south, the center of the eye, just to the south of Belize City, which you can't see here, but it's on a little peninsula that sticks out. So Belize City on the strong side of the hurricane. And then these uh, islands up to the north up here, which are kind of tourist islands, and a couple thousand people that live there actually on K uh, uh, Culver, that that one, uh, Culkin actually, that one uh, has about, like I said, about 2,000 people there. So whether they evacuated or not, I mean, we're just going to have to see. Uh, it's going to be a little a bit of a question mark what exactly happens there until we get the reports. Okay, here's the, the thinking. There's the storm now, 85 mile an hour winds at landfall, and look how quickly. This is overnight tonight in the early morning hours, down to 45 and then 35. So quickly the storm weakens as it moves inland and it moves over toward the Gulf of Mexico. And you would think, uh-oh, it's going to get over that warm water in the Gulf. But the thing is, the upper level winds are very hostile uh, when it gets over there. So it is not expected to develop Hurricane Center, keeping it in the uh, tropical depression range, 30, 35 miles per hour until it dies out in four or five days. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.